Hey friends, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Heidi. I am a seller on the Poshmark app. So what that really means is that I buy shoes, clothing, um, accessories, home decor, list it on the Poshmark app to resell for a profit. So on this channel, I share things that have sold for me, things that I'm going to list on Poshmark, small tips and tricks to get you sales and just tips and tricks in general when it comes to selling on Poshmark. So today I want to share with you some of the highlights of my June sales and I'm not going to go through every single sale because that would be a very boring video, but I'm going to share with you some of the super highs and maybe a couple lows whether or not I would pick those items up again. So let's just get started and dive into June sales. I'm going and have my phone pulled up so I have all my information right here. I'm going to start all the way back in the beginning of um, June and kind of go through with you um, the good and maybe the ugly. <laughs> so I made um, just over $2,000 in sales after Poshmark, after Poshmark fees but before cost of goods. I don't really spend a lot of money on shipping supplies, um, very, very minimal. I use a lot of the USPS free supplies, shipping um, boxes and envelopes for my boxes. And I also like to reuse a lot of stuff and we do get stuff from Amazon quite frequently in this house. So I like to save a lot of the packaging from those orders as well. So very little goes into that. Let's start with the first item. Within the first week I sold um, actually two items that sold um, for $50 and $60. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably share items that sold over $50. Um, and the first one is a pair of Free People overalls. I picked them up because they were new without tags. And if you guys have watched my hauls and my previous videos, you know I really like overalls. So I picked them up because they were in great condition and they were overalls. I thought they were going to sit a little bit longer because they are white. And not a lot of people gravitate towards white overalls, but they had this like painter like construction, like rustic, maybe rustic isn't an adjective for clothing, <laughs> but oversized um, look to them. And they looked really cool. So they actually ended up selling for $50. I had them listed for 60. And so I was really happy to see that go. And I actually paid under $2 for that. So that was a really great flip. And I don't ever share how much I pay for an item on here, but I'll tell you that one. It was pretty low, so I was very happy with $50. Next is a pair of Hunter boots. If you guys saw my previous video on online arbitrage, I actually got those boots from there. And um, they, I still have a few others. These didn't sit for that long after listing, and they sold for $60. I had them listed for $100, I believe. So $60, so I'm still making a good profit, and they are out of my house because boxes take a lot of space. I'm actually trying to figure out how to reorganize my shoes because I've maxed out my space and now there are shoes like everywhere. Um, so yeah, I, I would love shoes. Shoes is like my number one item to resell that I look for as soon as I walk into a store, but they also take more room to store. Next is a pair of jeans that actually sold for full asking and when these sales happen, I mean, it really gets, it gets your like heart pumping and it's it just doesn't happen that often when someone just outright buys anything. Um, so when they come, it's time to, to celebrate. And so I was thrilled to see these go. They did sit for a while. Um, they are by the brand Boyish and it's a collaboration with free people. They were brand new with tags and I knew they were something special, so I priced them high, I priced them at $125, and they retail for $170, so I didn't go super, super low um, in comparison to the retail, so very happy that that one sold. Okay, and this is an item that I probably wouldn't pick up again. Um, the brand is Coconuts by Matisse. It is like the lower end of the brand Matisse, and these are a pair of sandals. I literally had them listed for nine months and they did get some likes, they didn't get that much attention. I re-photographed them and nothing. 
So I had them listed for $30 and I accepted a $15 offer because I just wanted them gone. So they were a pair of sandals. They had like the fuzzy on the outside of the straps. And for whatever reason, I thought that they were going to do better than they did. Um, so if I see that style and that brand again um, for shoes, I probably would pass on them. Another item that sold for full asking while I was sleeping and so imagine like me waking up and having a full price sale you're like yeah like, you just start the day like really happy um so this is a um little bralette and like panty set brand new with tags the brand is Cosa Bella and sometimes they do have a collaboration with Anthropology. I have found one other piece from them. I was really thrilled that this sold full, full price um, for $60. I can't stress enough how some free people jeans are just amazing. So. If you are looking for free people jeans to resell, I would look for flares. And I mean like super duper flares. And they have to start flaring out at the knee and go like super like bell bottom, like huge <laughs> flares. And those styles will do well for you. A small flare, a um, wide leg, don't really do well um, for jeans. So this pair is called the Float Just Float On Flares by Free People and they have a huge variety of prints and denim washes and colors and um, what stands out about them is that they are super super flattering. They are high-waisted and they are like the raw hem some are distressed, um, super stretchy jeans, so they're amazing. Um, if you ever see a free people pair of jeans, make sure that it's a flare, super, super flare, and pick it up. <laughs> Alright, so I had um, a Anthropology plus size dress in my closet for a little while, and a little while, I mean a few months, and it is the Anthro um, A plus line, like I mentioned, um, plus size, and this was called the Spirited Wrap Floral Midi Dress. It was adorable. I was so surprised that it didn't sell sooner because summer's here, like it's florals. Like why did it sit in my closet for months? I don't know. Um, but I sold it for $60. Um, it sold for $60 and I was, over the moon about it. I didn't spend more than five dollars on this dress so I am so happy that it did so well. Although it's set, I would definitely pick it up again if I saw it. I also found a Tracy fix for free people um, embroidered tote. It had like a shoulder strap and it did show some wear. I don't think I would pick that up again. Although they sold quickly, they sold for super low. I thought they would do better. I think I have two more in my closet. One is new with tags and the other one does have a little bit of wear. Um, but this one sold for $20. So I don't think it was worth the investment. Although I did not lose money on it, I still made a profit. I just, I just wouldn't pick it up again. I did sell some bundles, um, some large bundles when I was doing a sale. Recently I did boxes, um, which are not part of my June sales, but they will be obviously for July. So if you're ever looking for inventory boxes, um, I do offer them once in a while. I think I will probably start doing them a little bit more frequent because they are really fun to put together. So I sold a few of those in July. I just saw it on my um, Poshmark account, so I wanted to share that with you before I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, definitely um, let me know if that's something you're interested in. One thing that I would not pick up again um, is anything Victoria's Secret. Um, that's kind of like the first, actually that's a few first few items that I sold when I started reselling was Victoria's Secret um, bras that I had that were new with tags. And I had this tote listed and it sold for like $10, but I had it listed for the longest time. And um, although it was like a, you know, new without tags, tote bag, a Victoria's Secret overall across the board on anything, I just wouldn't pick up again. Um, 
their stuff sells super, super low for me. So yeah, that brand is a hard pass for me. <laughs> so without going into every single sale, um, I had 39 total transactions in the month of June. I am very, very grateful for each and every single one of those sales. It was a slower month for me. I tend to focus on my kids. It's, we spend a lot of time outside during the summer, so I know I slow down a lot. Um, and so I'm so grateful for those sales and it's not like I'm not working. I'm definitely working like every single day. I'm just, you know, not putting as many hours in my day into it. I still love doing everything that I do. So when I saw a sale come in <laughs> and I don't sell on eBay either, like I stopped selling on there like years ago and I saw, um, this offer for $210. I was like, what? did I put on eBay? Like what is $210? I have forgotten that I had, I have like five items on eBay that literally like renew every 30 days. And there was this, um, pair of overalls. Like I keep mentioning, I love overalls. I found a pair of overalls and I had them listed on Poshmark for literally six months. It got so much attention. I had so many offers. And even people were like, why like, I love this, I want to buy it, but why is this price so high? <laughs> but because I knew what I had and I knew um, I could get more than what I was getting offered, so I never accepted any of those offers. I just waited. So one day I was like, let me put it on eBay. We'll see if it does anything, but it doesn't hurt, right? So I had it listed on eBay for probably a month um, for $300, and I had a $210 offer. And of course, I couldn't have hit accept offer fast enough. I accepted it, it got sent out, and it was a Philly Boo embroidered overalls. They were brand new with tags. I've never heard of that brand until I got home and looked up what I had. Um, I bought it because it was very, it didn't cost a lot, and it was brand new with tags, and it was really pretty. I thought it was really pretty because I love overalls and embroidery. With further research, I found out Philly Boo is a um, Australian brand that is very like bohemian. It's like super dreamy, like maxi skirts and dresses. They have a maternity line. It's just like super dreamy. I don't know how else to describe it. And expensive. So I was super excited that I found that. And there were only two other comps on Poshmark with these overalls and they were um, like really high twos and like really low twos. So I knew that I could get somewhere in that range for mine because they were new tags. So anyway, long story short, I was over the moon when I got this $210 offer for those overalls. So if you ever see Philly Boo, and if I ever see Philly Boo, I am a thousand percent picking it up with tags or without tags. The resale value of the pieces are amazing. It reminds me a lot of Spell and the Gypsy and those pieces. I mean, it's a fine one in the wild, but those pieces sell super duper well. So that was the highlight of my June sales was that pair of overalls. So overall, overall um, it was a good month. Um, definitely a, a you know a slower month for me but i am not complaining like i said i'm very grateful for any sale that i get the takeaways to wrap this up highlight was the philly boo um pair of overalls the hunter boots that sold new in box and the lows were probably like any victoria's secret or tracy fix brands i would not pick up again um and then the overall is that you know it takes a while to kind of figure out what brands work for your closet um what brands are worth reselling and holding on to like that victoria's secret tote i just literally like it held up space i should have gotten rid of it a long time ago um i'm happy that it's gone but it cost me more to keep it around than it did to just donate it so there are still things that <laughs> are you know that you're you're learning because you're ever evolving and you things are always changing trends are always changing brands are always changing your methods into your inventory your reselling um business models everything's always changing that is my quick overcap with june um i'm already like looking better for july so i hope i keep it up if you are interested in any um like reseller boxes just DM me on Instagram. Here's my name at the Heidi Bautista. 
or just comment on my Poshmark um, account. You can find me at Poshmark by searching The Noble Hanger. And we can go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. And as always, I value and appreciate your time so, so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and hit that thumbs up. It really helps me and I really, really appreciate that. I appreciate your support more than anything. So thank you guys and we'll see you guys very, very soon in another video. Bye guys.